Hello, Kingdom Lovers. How is everybody doing? I trust you all are doing very well. Well, to, today we're going to look at uh, exploring Apostle Paul in the Bible. This is going to be part one of many series. And I trust that it's going to be a blessing to you. Especially if you want to fulfill your call. If you want to fulfill your purpose. If you want to be able to preach the true doctrines of our Lord Jesus Christ and be a, a, a true teacher of the word or true believers, it's very important for you to understand the teachings of Apostle Paul. Otherwise, if you're a believer, you'll be taken advantage of, and if you're a teacher of the word, you'll be falsely teaching uh, false doctrines because Apostle Paul is the extension of the ministry of Christ. So um, let's look at our Bible, just look at who this Apostle Paul, a great apostle that God used mightily. He wrote over half of the books of the New Testament. You know, if you don't master the writings of Apostle Paul, you'll be, you know, you, 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 you will not be able to take advantage of the resurrected Christ uh, and new creation. Remember that Jesus Christ came to bring the new creations. We are new creations in Christ Jesus. Uh, you couldn't be a new creation until after Christ resurrected. And when Christ resurrected, his message extended to the apostles. And he used Apostle Paul to give us the message of the new creations. So you need to really master Apostle Paul's writings. You need to read the Apostle Paul's writing if you want to be able to take your place in the program of God. So many people have been taking advantage of. I don't know about you. I was taking advantage of many years ago when I first started. All these false teachers, false prophets all they wanted was money 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 and membership uh, but when you begin to understand the teachings of apostle paul you find out that christ has indeed come to set us free you know so you will not be able to um, know what christ did for you why he rose from the dead you will be seriously taken advantage of by false prophets and false teachers you will just be members you're just <laughs> warming the bench and won't be able to take your place and fulfill your purpose in life understand that god said my people perish for lack of knowledge the knowledge is available but people don't uh, follow that knowledge and um, you see a lot of people they are so stuck in the old testament stories old testament doctrine that have no value in the new testament times you know um, <laughs> that was one of the churches i used to go to many many years ago it's all old testament doctrine sacrifices giving 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 first fruit second fruit third fruit <laughs> You know, so you'll not be able to take a place if you do not thoroughly understand Apostle Paul's writing. It's totally different from the other uh, ministers and Old Testament doctrines. Uh, even Apostle Peter even said that some of Apostle Paul's writings are very hard to understand, but they are truth. So for you to be able to fulfill your purpose in life, in Christ, th this message for those who want to fulfill their purpose, those who are willing to teach the truth, uh, if you don't want to fulfill your purpose, you want to live the way you want, then it will not be of any benefit to you. And if you're a pastor, a minister, and you think church is money-making business, and you just want to make money and scam people, then this message will not be a benefit for you. Understand that every one of us will stand before the Lord, Jesus Christ, on the last day. You see, you could be a false teacher, regardless of your title, position, or how many members are following you. You can be a false teacher if you take apostle paul out of your teachings you will mislead so many people even though your teachings will be found in the bible they are old testament but they will mislead a lot of people and this is what i discovered many years ago and uh, studying apostle paul's teachings suddenly in depthly you find out that what he what he taught was totally different from the old testament norms and even some of jesus teachings you know because it's an extension it's a modified version the up upgrade of Jesus' teaching, you know. Um, so, who is this Apostle Paul? Apostle Paul, just briefly, he, he, he once persecuted the church. Uh, his name was Saul. He once persecuted the church. He even consented to the killing of Stephen, one of the true disciples of Jesus Christ. You know, uh, he was on his way to Damascus to persecute Christians. On his way, he got struck. He was. Uh, you know, he got knocked down by the power of God and by Jesus on his way to Damascus. He became blind, was restored. He restored his sight. And uh, a brother, God used a brother to restore Apostle Paul's sight. He didn't use a bishop. He didn't use a, a, a an archbishop. He didn't use a big title person. He used a brother. You know, God is looking for the heart, people with the pure heart. That's who God wants to use. See, so 
you will look at when you carefully look at the word of God, Apostle Paul was chosen for a special assignment for the body of Christ. In Acts chapter 9, I'll read verse 16. This is just going to be a short introductory video. He said, For this is what Jesus said to Ananias, who um, was used to open Apostle Paul's eyes. He said, For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. If you are a true apostle, not all these fake apostles that we have these days that want to be your spiritual father. I'm collecting your money. I want to collect that from you. <laughs> if you're a true apostle, you will suffer for Jesus. Yeah, you will endure hardship. You will suffer for Jesus. You are not going to be scary people to be buying private jets. Look at what it says, Acts chapter 11, verse 16. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. So Apostle Paul was chosen by Jesus. Jesus had many things to say to the, you know, to other apostles before he um, he was crucified, but they could not understand him. You know, uh, so he now gave those messages to Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul did not work with Jesus, but other apostles that worked with Jesus in his earthly ministry could not understand Jesus. Look at John chapter 16 and verse 12. This is what Jesus said. He said, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. Before Jesus died, this is what he was telling Apostle Peter and the other apostles. They could not understand what Jesus was about to do, that he was going to die and rise right from the dead and give birth to new creation which you and i qualify glory to god so so many people are still stuck in the old testament doctrines they are going to be looking at prophet jeremiah prophet Hosea, prophet Isaiah. i don't have anything against them i love the word of god the whole bible was written for uh, uh to us but not everything in the new creation is written to you in the old testament so apostle paul now became the extension of Jesus' ministry. He said in John chapter 16, this is the word of Jesus. He said, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. So that's why Jesus chose Apostle Paul to give us the message of the new creations. See, many preachers <laughs> and believers are, you know, they are not conversant with his teaching. They are not conversant with Apostle Paul's teachings. You know, they are not conversant with all his epistles and doctrines. But rather, they have majored in the Old Testament teachings and doctrines. You see, they are missing out big time. Even Jesus' earthly ministry was still Old Testament. Yes, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they were still Old Testament. Because the New Testament could not be rectified until the death of the testator. Jesus died, he rose up, and he activated the New Testament and gave us the doctrine for the New Testament. But many people are so stuck. It's so annoying. And yet the Bible tells us what to do. You see? They are missing out big time. I refuse to miss out. Remember, you have only one life to live and one chance. So I, I want God's best. Everything about God, the best of God. Glory to God. I know then it comes with suffering. It comes with persecution. But it's glorious. <laughs> we are not people pleasers. We are God's pleasers. So they are stuck in the Old Testament. But Apostle Paul brought some, new test, some doctrines that you need to pay attention to if you want to be able to fulfill your call. If you want to be, want to please God, if you want to be a minister of the gospel, even understand the writings of Apostle Paul will change the way you pray. You will not be praying all those beggarly uh, prayer that people are praying. Uh, one of my old pastor friend, he was traveling. He said, "If God doesn't go with us, we are not going." Huh? In the New Testament, if God doesn't go with you, God lives in you. He goes everywhere you go. You cannot be praying the prayer of Jabez in the New Testament. No, it won't work. Now that's why you need to familiarize yourself. With the doctrines of Apostle Paul in the New Testament. Well, you can argue or you want to argue. You can debate. You may not even like me because I don't agree with your doctrine. But I agree with the word of God. The word of God is the clear uh, picture of what we need to do. So the Bible is clear. Well, let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23. This is just going to be a short introduction. This is part one. Look at what was given to Apostle Paul for the church. You and I, we are the church. The church is not a building. Well, though they have changed the church to a building, the church is you and I, the saved ones who have the Holy Spirit living in us. In the first book of Corinthians, Corinthians, first uh, Corinthians chapter eleven and the twenty third verse. See what Apostle Paul said. He said, "For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you." Wow, wonderful! So he received these doctrines from the Lord directly from Jesus. These were not doctrine that was given to the earthly. Apostle that will work with work with Jesus. He, definitely, Jesus is not given to the Pharisees and the Sadducees and and the uh, and the old rulers of, of the church in those days because they won't understand. So Apostle Paul received all these doctrines, received all these teachings that he delivered to us 
But are you going to receive his teaching or are you going to be stuck in the Old Testament doctrine that will not benefit you? Yes, that's what the Bible says. <laughs> so he received the gospel directly from the Jesus and delivered it to the body of Christ. Now look at what Romans chapter 2 and verse 16 says. Romans chapter 2 verse 16. Who is this great apostle? Apostle Paul. This is my mentor. This is my role model. He's, I follow his teaching. I love it. I live in it. And I, I dispense it without shame. In the 16th verse of Romans chapter 2, it says, In the day when God shall judge the secret of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel. That's a powerful verse. God is going to judge you and I according to the gospel which was given to Apostle Paul to give to the church. And you can find Apostle Paul's writing in the, from the book of Romans to the book of Philemon. So you have to get your doctrine for the New Testament. I'm not saying you throw away all the Old Testament or you can get wisdom, but don't let any false prophet use Old Testament uh, prophet, Old Testament, Exodus, uh, Deuteronomy, Hosea, and, and Chronicles to tie you down. It won't work for you in the New Testament. He said, in the day when God shall judge the secret of men, by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel. Did you ever wonder why he didn't say according to the gospel of Jesus Christ that he taught? Because after Jesus died, he said, it is finished. He rolled away the Old Testament laws and Old Testament sacrifice and Old Testament. He rolled everything, everything away and started a new creation. But so many people are using the Old, Old Testament new creation. No wonder there's so much confusion in the body of Christ. But I refuse to be confused. The Bible is clear. It was meant for us to read and to understand and to live by. So, Apostle, Apostle Paul's gospel uh, of Christ is vital for your eternal, etern eternity. It is, I call it the updated version of Jesus Christ's gospel. Because Jesus gave this, up, Jesus is no longer alive. So, he now passed the message to Apostle Paul to give to the body of Christ. So, uh, you know, Apostle Paul's teaching is the uh, updated version of Jesus Christ's teaching. Because Jesus is now in heaven. And this is what Jesus wants us to be teaching. <laughs> Not all these Old Testament do's and don'ts and do's. I have one of my friends in Canada. Yeah, she asked me the other day, she said, have you paid your first fruits? I said, what first fruits? He said, you must pay your first month salary. I said, me, give my first month salary to a person, a human being. Jesus Christ has become our first fruit. And she was angry. She has been doing that. She, I mean, I don't want to go there. It's annoying how they have used Old Testament doctrine to scam the body of Christ, scam believers and take money from them. If I want to do it, I can do it and be collecting money and be living luxuriously, private jets and luxury car. But I ain't going to do that. <laughs> Jesus said, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? When you do all those Old Testament things to scam people and take advantage of them, you will stand before Jesus. Oh my goodness. Ah, <laughs> so Apostle Paul's teaching is the um, updated version of Jesus' teaching. So you have to know what Jesus, you know, know what Jesus has stopped in the Old Testament. Whenever Jesus has fulfilled and stopped, don't go back and be doing those doctrines. Because once Jesus says it is finished, it stop it, and you start doing it, you will move into the occult without you knowing. Yeah, even though it's in the Bible. You know, so uh, when it's done away with, stay away with it. And stay with the new because the new has replaced the old. The old has become obsolete. And yes, you will fall into the occult for following the old obsolete doctrines. So who is this great apostle Paul? Which we are going to examine. <laughs> it's one of the greatest apostles. That God delivers the message for the new creation. Understand that once you are born again, you are a new creation. In 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. He said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. So that is a law. Whether you like it or not, you are a new creation. So there are rules that apply to the new creation, not to the old creation. You cannot bring the doctrines of the old creation into the new creation. It will not work. It will put you in bondage. You'll be taken advantage of. You'll be used and dumped as a, uh, as a dormant. But if you want to fulfill your call, you will not be popular with all these Old Testament prophets. Old Testament, you will not be popular. <laughs> Dear Jesus. Because I see that human beings, they love suffering. They love to be lied to. They love to be manipulated. And the people that are really cheating and manipulating them, that's who they call, yes, preach on, Papa, preach on, Mama, preach on. They follow. Yes, continue. But I don't know about you. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm a new creation. And I'm going to do what new creation do. 
So, Apostle Paul brought this teaching. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, as I round up, he said, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Glory to God. And all things have become new. What you need to do is look at those things that are new. But don't be stuck in all those things that are old. Don't be stuck. You know, <laughs> when I see people preach on, on Facebook, on internet or social media, it doesn't take about 15 within 15 minutes i know where they belong are they in the class of the old or are they in the class of the new we are not told to compete i'm not trying to condemn them but the bible tells us explicitly that we should go to the new testament to the new well we're going to examine that in my next teaching i trust that this short introductory uh fellowship has been a blessing to you if you're watching me and you're not in christ then you are in the old and you'll be taken advantage of you won't be able to fill your call you will lose, you live a, 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 a failed life. Success in life is being able to fulfill what God has called you to do on this earth with excellence. Yes, you may not be popular like, like other people. Uh, you may not even be uh, so rich that you have uh, luxurious houses, luxurious, uh, having um, uh, <laughs> all these uh, protocols following you, flying in first class or private jet. But what matters is, are you a new creation? So if you're not, if you're watching me, you are not yet saved. Get saved today. All you need to do is hear the gospel. First Corinthians 15, verse uh, one to four, that Jesus died for all of your sins by shedding His blood. He was buried. He raised Himself from the dead, and now He's in heaven. And if you can put your faith in what Jesus did, you become a new creation. And once you become a new creation, you will live by a different set of rules. As I conclude, in Romans chapter 8, the second verse, it says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. So when you are a new creation, you operate under the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Not the law of sin and death for the Old, Old Testament folks and, and, and unbelievers. So um, I trust that this short video has been a blessing to you. Prayerfully ask God to uh, give you a thorough understanding if you're already a minister or if you're uh, a church member, a church goer. Make sure you understand the teachings of Apostle Paul. We're going to be examining these teachings and it's going to be a blessing to you. I've been so tremendously blessed. It's bubbling in my spirit and I feel like sharing it to you. I want to thank you all for watching. Cynthia Samoa, God bless you. Thank you. You say, yes, the Bible is clear. Yes, that's agreement. Yes. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video make sure you have your bible with you read it understand it don't be following some people blindly follow the word of god and stick to it yes you might even have enemies for following the bible but okay. <laughs> if god before us can be against us god bless you i'll see you again in my next video until then have a blessed day bye bye